the Minister of Health, Dr. Osage Haniri, says the federal government is committed to supporting developmental strides in university teaching hospitals and other health institutions in the country. Ehaniri said this at the inauguration of some landmark projects at University of Meduguri Teaching Hospital, UMTH, on Thursday. The projects were virtually inaugurated by President Muhammad Buhari while Ehaniri did the physical inauguration. The projects include Modern Physical Rehabilitation Center, PRC, built for UMTH by International Committee of the Red Cross, ICRC, for rehabilitation of physically challenged patient, 150 bed capacity trauma center, school of nurse and hostel, UMTH auditorium and general outpatient complex. The minister thanks the management and board of UMTH for the leadership, resilience and dedication, even under the difficult circumstances in the Northeast region. Meanwhile, a statement by ICRC Physical Rehabilitation Program Manager Ida says the first, first uh, physical rehabilitation center in Meguduguri will bring physical rehabilitation services to hundreds of people living with disabilities in the Northeast. The center, which will be run by ICRC, is projected to serve more than 2,000 people in need of prosthetic limbs, wheelchairs, clutches, and mobility devices by 2022. We're now being joined by a public relations officer, International Committee of the Red Cross, Ali Dawobi. Thank you very much uh, for joining us. Uh, okay. Thank you very much for having me and good afternoon. Good afternoon. Why the need to build this physical rehabilitation center? Thank you very much for, for, for this. Um, there is actually a huge need in the northeast of Nigeria. And like uh, you have mentioned in the news, uh, this is the first a rehabilitation center that was uh, constructed in the northeast of Nigeria uh, to support people that are affected by disabilities. And disabilities in the northeast of Nigeria is not something that started uh, now. Uh, and then in addition to this, you have the conflict that is going on. You have a lot of uh, explosions in the past, uh, a lot of fighting going on and people getting wounded in their legs, in their uh, hands and so on and so forth. So this is like a serious uh, situation in the Northeast of Nigeria. So having a center like this is actually something that is going to help the people of the Northeast of Nigeria and especially people that are affected by conflict. And do you think the government at all levels have done enough for persons with disabilities in the Northeast? Absolutely. Uh, what we've been doing is that is to liaise with the Dala Teaching Hospital, Dala Hospital, Orthopedic Hospital in Kano, where we were taking most of the people that were affected in the northeast of Nigeria. But we realized that it is very, very paramount for us to look into this and to see how we can uh, bring this closer to the people so that they will be they will be supported. Um, yes, of course, uh, we, we, we also uh, try to see uh, not just to provide physical rehabilitation to people, but we also are fully involved and engaged in trying to support them when they are affected. So in Maiduguri, uh, we have a special um, medical ward that we call the medical surgical ward. When cases happen, uh, victims are brought into this I mean, life-threatening situations are brought into this medical uh, team of ICRC in Maiduguri for them to support. So they do their jobs and they try to see how they can support these people without them having to, to, to look for support from other sources uh, or from individual uh, pockets. Yet, that they are. So this has been going on. So when these people unfortunately get some parts of their body amputated, either in the course of this blast or in other health situations, they are supported to get rehabilitated uh, in this hospital. Now, uh, before then, it has been in Kano that we've been doing this. Hmm. And uh, we're going to ask again, why the choice of Meduguri? Maiduguri is very, very key looking at the 30 years uh, existence of uh, uh, ICRC in Nigeria and also looking at the over 10 years of crisis and violence in the northeast of Nigeria. Specifically, Maiduguri hosting more than 2 million people that are affected by conflict in the northeast of Nigeria. So if you look at that and you see also that the violence has actually hit, I mean, the conflict has hit Maiduguri very, very hard. Uh, a lot of people are affected. So it's like going to serve as a, a center that will support 
without people having to go further to look for, for, for this type of uh, physical rehabilitation. Thank also, uh, not like we also have other departments that are supporting mental health is one of the key things. We try also to give them advice and counseling on mental uh, support in terms of uh, having issues that are related to this uh, conflict that is going on in the north of Nigeria. So these are all embedded in one uh, support that we are giving. People are supporting in terms of uh, medical surgeries if something happens. And also we are trying to also give this support of advice and mentoring that has to do with mental and psychosocial support. And at the same time, we are also uh, supporting in providing, uh, I mean, uh, physical rehabilitation to these people. And then and, and, uh, last week or this week, this has happened in Maiduguri. It has been commissioned. It's not fully going to be operational. Thank you very much, Mr. Ali, for your thoughts. Thank you very much for inviting me.